Hello everybody, today we will uh, discuss about GPU preemption, we will explain uh, everything around this mechanism, how it works, and also we will see some performance results in order to understand if we should disable it or keep it enabled. So, for this video, I will explain what is the WDDM, what is preemption, changing the behavior of the GPU scheduler for debugging, FPS and latency effects, and if we should or not disable preemption. What is the WDDM? Windows Display Driver Model or WDDM is the graphics display driver architecture for Windows. It was introduced in Windows Vista with uh, WDDM 1.0 version and it continues to evolve with every Windows release. What is preemption? Preemption in computing is when a task that's currently running is temporarily interrupted so it can be resumed later. This is done by an external scheduler without help from the task itself. The process of stopping and then restarting the task is called context switching. Changing the behavior of the GPU scheduler for debugging. To help in debugging the driver, the behavior of the graphics processing unit scheduler can be changed by configuring the registry. You can enable or disable preemption requests from the GPU scheduler by using the following registry configuration. And this is the all uh, the all registry that we change in order to disable this uh, mechanism. By default, it's enabled as we said. It doesn't exist this registry by default. And when you put that value, you can choose either to disable it or uh, enable it. The test method is the same in both parts. And let's go to the results in FPS. In Fortnite, uh, the PC latency was better with preemption disabled, the average frame times was better with preemption disabled, SDF the same, 0.1% loss was better by default, with a very small uh, difference, 1% loss was better with preemption disabled, and average FPS was better with uh, preemption disabled. So we see, uh, if we sum all those results in Fortnite, we see Fortnite gained some improvement when we disable preemption. In CS2, PC latency is the same, average frame times are actually the same, SDEV the same, 0.1% loss are by 3, more, by 3 FPS better with preemption disabled, 1% loss are the same, and average FPS is better with preemption default when we have enabled preemption. The Fortnite latency. I tested the Dark's kernel driver and the results are better by default without changing anything. The CPU usage again is better with preemption default and the CPU weight is better by default. In CS2 the latency in Dark's kernel is almost the same, I can't say that we have some huge difference. The CPU usage is better with preemption disabled and the CPU weight is better with preemption default. So, if we come at the first slide, we said about if we should or not disable this option. My opinion is if we're talking only about FPS and the analysis with Cal Frame Max and the Frame View, I must say that. Could be it would be nice to disable this option and test with your results. In latency, unfortunately, with Xperf, I couldn't say that I would have uh, a full opinion about if you should disable it or enable it. Uh, accordingly, the latency results Xperf is not so appropriate for this specific uh, test. Uh, so. I can talk only about the FPS. In latency part, it's up to you if you will trust the expert or not. In terms of FPS, I'll, I can say that it's better to disable this option. So, to sum up, do your own test, try this option. You maybe see some improvement, you maybe not see some improvement, you maybe can't feel this difference. But uh, I think you should give a try.